Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes. Today we're going to look at the all-important skill of correctly reading jazz rhythm from the music score. I've got on the screen in front of you the notes of a G bebop scale, just written as half-beat notes, quavers. I'll play that music score literally as it's written, that is, as a classical musician would interpret those notes. Each note is half a beat. Now, if a jazz musician saw that series of quavers and knew that they were playing in a jazz style, exactly the same written notes would sound like this. No change required to the written music score whatsoever, just the context in which the written notes are to be played. Now, often as a means of trying to convince non-jazz players how to swing in a jazz style, an inordinate amount of effort goes into the written music to try to mathematically reproduce that natural jazz swing. Do da do da do da do da. And the closest we've got in the written music to mathematically approximating that is to play a crotchet and a quaver triplet. So a crotchet and a quaver with a triplet sign over the top of it, meaning the first note, the downbeat note, is given two thirds of a beat and the upbeat note is given one third of a beat instead of dividing the beat exactly into two equal halves. At the end of the day, it's a feel. If I want to play in swing timing, it's a natural feel. I don't need someone to mathematically try to tell me how to do that swing. Now, if you're new to playing in jazz timing, if you're new to swing, if you're new to reading music in a jazz style, I strongly recommend you get hold of a copy of this famous saxophone tutor by Jimmy Dorsey, one of the world's leading saxophonists in the history of the instrument. His brother was Tommy Dorsey, the famous trombonist. This book was written in the 1940s. It remains, to my way of thinking, the most musical saxophone method in a jazz style. It's all about melody, but at the same time, there's enormous technique builders within that book. I'm going to close this tutorial now by playing for you. I've recorded the first four lines from page 65 of the Jimmy Dorsey book. I'll put that music score on the screen for you. There's a six click count in. I'm just playing with a a jazz snare drum played with brushes in the background to avoid the monotony of a standard click-click metronome. Play along with me. This is recorded on the alto sax, but if you play the tenor sax, you can play along with me. The notes will be different. You'll be in a harmony to me, but the timing is the same. I hope you enjoy this. Get hold of a copy of the Jimmy Dorsey method if you haven't got it, and find your way to reading quavers in jazz timing naturally without the music score having to try to mathematically to convince you how to play that. Bye for now.